Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you guys like this video, uh, please like and subscribe and do all that ish. So let's get started. First, I'm going to start sketching out my drawing. What I want is like a meat dumpling kind of girl. Like, I want her to be kind of like short and stumpy and like chubby, but like in, in a cute way. And I kind of want her to be like wearing this rain jacket. And uh, the inspiration behind this drawing, um, I kind of got this idea from that one series. I forget what it's called. It's like Mr. Benedict's Secret Society or something. There was like this one character. She was like a short little girl and she like wore this like, I think it was red, like a red raincoat or something like that. Her name was like Constance or like Constance. I, I don't really remember. But that was kind of my inspiration behind this. I wanted it to be like a really cute girl and her like I want her cheeks to be like really like chubby and like full because I think that's like really cute. I don't know why I'm just like really into that like dumpling vibe. Anyways, I gave her these like really cute like um, short eyebrows. I was kind of struggling on the face because she kind of ended up looking like piggy, but I ended up changing. I think she turned out like really cute actually. I gave her like this like tousled like short bob kind of thing. I think the um, hair in the sketch actually looked like really good and then I totally trashed it afterwards. Now we're gonna get started on the raincoat. I want it to be like bright yellow, like you know that classic kind of thing. And I want it to be like kind of like oversized on her. Cause you know like that thing where like girls and they're like oversized sweaters and it's like supposed to be like really cute and their like sleeve is like way too long for them. Like I don't know, like that's like cute, right? Or at least that's what I think. So since my cute little lady already has her rain jacket, I wanted to give her the whole like rain gear type of thing and I want to give her a, an umbrella too. Um, at first I was going to do like an open umbrella and she was like holding it and was like protecting her from the rain but then I realized that it's kind of like difficult to draw it like an open umbrella and it took too much effort so in the end I decided to like not do that and like make it close instead. It's not that I'm lazy. It's just that the open umbrella was like a lot of effort and it wouldn't look good anyway, so I just went with this option. Um, now I'm going to get started on the body. I really struggled on the body because I really want her to look like really round, but like not fat. Just like, I, I don't know if that makes sense. Like I want her to look really soft and stuff, but I kind of kind of made her look like ogre-ish, but um... I'm giving her these red little rain boots too. I think it's like really cute for her to have like these like massive boots and stuff. Then I just started adding the details in the raincoat like the pockets and the buttons. I'm not going to be tracing this after I sketch because I'm going to be using watercolor paints and if I use watercolor paints on ink it'll just smear all over. Um, I'm using my soft kneader eraser and I'm just dabbing at the picture to take off the graphite. Here are the watercolors I'm going to be using. I got them from like this Chinese place. It was really cheap. It was only $5.95. Um, I've had these for like a year now and I still haven't ran out of any so it's like a pretty good deal. Other than that, I'm gonna be using these um, brushes I got from Michaels and also this food container um, that I'm gonna be using as a water holder. I've had those like marinating in the water for like a couple weeks now because I keep forgetting to empty it. Now I'm going to start painting. I'm not sure if this is how you're supposed to use watercolor, but this is what I do. Basically, I just slap the color on there very lightly without any shading or anything like that. Here I'm doing that for the skin and also for the rain jacket. Now I'm adding like a slight bit of shading on the skin. Nothing like too harsh or anything like that, just like a little bit of contour.
Now I'm going to be starting to add blush. Basically what I do is I just blot a bunch of red onto her cheeks and then I try to blend it out. It might look really in your face right now, but uh, trust me, it does get better and it does become less harsh. Since I'm done with the skin, I'm going to be starting on the red boots. I wanted it to have like a rubbery feel, so I tried to add highlights. To shade the rain jacket, I'm just going to be adding a darker yellow and then I'm going to be just like adding a lot of water to like blend everything out. Since I felt like just using yellow wasn't making the shadows dark enough, I decided to use orange too to shade. As I was blending out the orange shadow, I kind of realized that the orange was a bit too overpowering. Because now instead of looking yellow, the raincoat just looks orange. To fix that, I took this very bright highlighter yellow and I just colored all of the highlighted places. I started to shade the umbrella using a darker blue. I used the same dark blue to shade her pants too. When I was doing this, I realized that the red boots didn't actually dry properly, so it started to mix in with the blue to create like purple. Um, did I wait for the boots to dry and start over? No, I just kept, I just kept on going. Um, in the end, I added purple to make it seem more like jeans instead of just like blue pants. I started shading the pants in a way that I felt kind of looked like clothes like creasing. Um, I'm not sure how well that point like came across. I also realized in the middle that I kind of made her crotch like a bit too light. Like now it just looks like a bright like white triangle in the middle of all the shading. I do fix it slightly later on so it does get better.
I also started to shade the handle of the umbrella and I also used the same brown color to color her hair. I want her hair to be like a dark brown kind of blackish color so I started off with like this light brown and then I just built upon it and used black to shade it. When I finished adding all of the final details, I started to color the grass and then I took my soft kneaded eraser and then I started to erase the pencil lines. Now I started on the background, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with this. I ended up splotching a bunch of colors together and like mixing them. I used different things like purple, blue, green, and yellow. I just like splotched it all on there and kind of let it mix by itself. Um, one of the problems I came across was that my paper was like bending and it was making all of the color like pull up in one area. I probably should have taped this drawing down but um, I was lazy so yeah no Around this part, my camera died, so I wasn't able to film everything. I'm sorry, but um, you didn't miss much. All I did was pile up some more colors. Now I'm going to start inking with my pen. It was a bit nerve-wracking to do this, especially after I already colored everything, because that means I could just mess up even more. After Inky, it's time for me to start using my white gel pen. I wanted to kind of give her clothes like a waterproof kind of look. It didn't really work out that well. All of a sudden, I just decided to start drawing like drips coming out of the sky. I don't know why, like suddenly the sky just raining white stuff. The white gel pen didn't work out so well because it wasn't opaque enough, so I decided to use white out. I spent like 10 minutes looking for this thing, okay? I was pretty nervous going in because, you know, I've never used white out to like draw something before. Um, it wasn't all that complicated though. I kind of. I'm kind of not sure if I like it, but I mean, it wasn't like a total failure, so I guess I'm okay with that. After I waited for it to dry, I went over the whiteout with like a couple more coats, and then I added some drops at the end too. Then I used 
my white gel pen to like um, go over everything again to make sure it looks a bit more professional, I guess. I used it to like fill in any blanks and just to make sure that everything looked a bit clear. After I added some like white bubbles as an outline, I started to use my golden paint pen. Um, the, I, I just did this randomly, like I didn't plan it out. I just added like a golden like side to the drops. I don't know what's happening in this, but you know, it happened and I'm not mad at it, so. After adding some more extra gold stuff and then signing my name, I'm finally done with this drawing. Thank you guys for watching. If you watch till the end, um, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And thank you for supporting me and stuff.